a lot, Hubert. Not too bad of a day out there today with temperatures that made it up into the low 50s. Slightly cooler, though, along the lake shore. Let's check out our weather bug network. And this is our sky cam looking out towards East Toledo, towards the smokestacks there. And looking out towards, like I said, East Toledo. You can see that northeast wind blowing the smoke out towards the south and towards the east. All right, let's look at temperatures outside at Toledo Express Airport. It's 50 degrees with that east wind at about 8 miles per hour. And here at the WNWO studios, we got a north to northeast wind light at about 2 miles per hour. Current temperature 50 degrees. Temperatures right now ranging from 49 West Unity, 49 P Town, 48 Oregon, and 52 degrees for Archbold. High temperatures today range from 51 Perrysburg, 53 Archbold, and 52 degrees West Unity. Let's go to triple Doppler radar here and we can see close in. We're a okay, but as I widen out the view here, we can see that we do have some precipitation on off towards the east coast. In fact, this is the precipitation that came on through here last night and brought the rain shower action. And we also have that cold front, but it has now turned into a stationary boundary. And it's right along from about Montreal back through western portions of New York, drew that front a little funny and backwards, but right about here. And then you also, what you have is an area of low pressure that is really starting to get going at the bottom of your screen. What this low pressure is going to do, in addition to another upper level disturbance here, I'll throw another low on here. In fact, I'll just draw it. And we do have another area of low pressure right where that arrow is. What that's going to do is swing on in and really give this low pressure energy and ride up the East Coast and believe it or not, give a snowstorm to western Pennsylvania, western New York, and portions of eastern Ohio. We do not have to worry about that. Now, as we look at what's ahead here over the next 24 to 48, even 72 hours here as I'll step on in, there's that low pressure system across southern portions of North Carolina, northern portions of North Carolina, in fact, near the Charlotte area. Here's this upper level low. This is what's really going to feed the energy and allow this low pressure system to really explode as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Let's put the map here into motion here. In comes this low pressure. Once this really feeds into this area of low pressure, look at this low pressure system just explode. Behind me is an area of high pressure across Minnesota. This is going to be kind of a tight pressure gradient as we head into Monday. Now, what a tight pressure gradient means is what you need to know, it's just going to be windy as we head into Monday. We're going to get a northeast flow off the lake. Look at the snow. Look how close it makes it to Cleveland. Look at all the snow across western Pennsylvania. Yes, five to eight inches of snow is possible in portions of western New York and Pennsylvania. We barely miss out. But what we're going to get on Monday is a windy day with a few snowflakes and maybe a few raindrops, but no need to pull out the shovels or the umbrellas. Finally, Tuesday, high pressure builds on into the region. The storm system lifts on up towards the north, and the sunshine returns for the daytime on Tuesday. Low temperatures tonight with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll bottom out 30. 6 Toledo, about 34 Napoleon and Wauseon. Warmer along the Lake Erie shoreline, about 40 degrees for Luna Pier, 42 Port Clinton, with a north wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Breezy conditions will set up though tomorrow, and skies will become partly sunny throughout the day with a northeast wind 15 to 25 miles per hour. That's going to keep Port Clinton about 47, Luna Pier about 48, 53 Adrian, a little bit warmer out towards the west, 55 Wauseon, and 55 degrees for Napoleon. Let's look at that 10 day trend. 47, I didn't put the rain or the snow like in there because it'll be April 22nd and I really don't want to do that but just plan on a flake or a raindrop on Monday but we miss out Hubert and Adam on a potentially good sized snowstorm that's going to hit eastern Ohio western Darn. Pennsylvania and western New York I know I'm crying too but Tuesday we start to improve 55 degrees 58 on Wednesday with another chance of rain then we cool it down towards the end of the week on Thursday sunny skies but cool high temperatures in the upper 40s so, Tom, Tom, you just spoke for three minutes, and all I got from it was we're not getting any snow. So, right, right. okay, that plan. works. That so works. In January, we had 60 degree weather. Uh -huh. In March, we had 80 degree weather. Uh -huh. And in late April, we're getting snow. <laughs> <laughs> What's May going to bring? Toledo. January weather? I don't get it. We'll see. All right. Thank you so much, Tom Kippen.